The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the February 5th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you. 877-927-6648 is the number to call in now. If you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered there too. You can always send me an email. Send that off to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside the Tigers, then well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on marvelous, magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got almost a sea of red out there. The only thing that is green is spot volatilix, the semis, and the uh, healthcare sector, the XLV. We've got the Dow down 379 points. S&P's off 29. NASDAQ 1117. Russell's down 36. Tranny's off 161. You've got uh, gold trading out at 2035. That's off 18 bucks. Silver's down 22, uh, 36 cents, trading out at 22. 43. Likes recruit is off 50 cents at 71.78. Natural gas down a penny at 206. 30 year treasuries printed out at 120.02. That's off nearly two full points out there. Leading the charge dollar wise to the upside, we've got Super Micro Computer up 46 bucks, 8%. Eli Lilly, 40 bucks, 6%. IDEX Labs, 31 bucks, 6%. NVIDIA, 21 bucks, 3%. Estee Lauder, 18 bucks, a 13% move there. The shakers to the downside is led by Air Products and Chemicals off 39 bucks. A 15% move there. 3% for Decker's Outdoor, or $29. Qualis is off 20 bucks, 10%. Humana, 16 bucks, 4.5%. Regenerant, 13 bucks. That's about a 1.5% move to the downside. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. What do you want to look at? Let's go begin our day by taking a look at the equity future contracts. Let's do it a couple different ways. Here's the daily equity future contracts that we're looking at. Well, we can see out here the ES Mini on Friday negated a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Needs another bearish reversal candle at the moment. It's a bearish sash candle. I have no idea what day at, what the candle will look like at day's end if it's not a bearish reversal candle. And price remains above the top of that profile. That is support right now. 49.39. That's even acted as support this morning. We've gotten down to 49.37. 775. A close below, getting back inside that profile would then open up the other profile areas, and that's at 4884 to 4902. The NQ still retains its roads momentum indicator top. Has not taken out. When I mean taken out, close above 1779350. That's the roads momentum indicator top signal. That's a bearish shooting star. Get a close above that. We had higher. Right now, price is back inside its profile levels. A close today below 17,683 could bring the 17,351 to 17,462 area into play. In the case of the Dow, the Dow on Friday negated a TD9 count top, negated Rhodes Mintum indicator top, a bearish reversal candle today. Right now, you have a bearish sash candle as well. Would then go ahead and confirm another Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Price remains above the top of its daily profile. That would be the level of support on a downside move. 38.050. In the case of the Russell 2000, 
Looks like it wants to go target its lows from 2024. So far, the lows. That's at 1904.80. Price is trading inside that swing point. That swing point, we take a look at a daily time frame, is a swing point from January 17th. So that's what's going on. We take a look at the daily equity future contracts priced in U.S. dollars. We take a look at what's going on around the globe. We'll see we're at a new all-time high today. The ES Mini priced in euros. New all-time high today. ES Mini priced in pounds. Uh, not so much in yen just yet. Yen has made a new all-time high priced in the for the NQ today. Same thing with British pounds. Same thing with the euro out there. Um, so that is awfully strong. In the case of the Dow, new all-time high today in terms of euros. In case of uh, British pounds out there, close but no cigar in terms of yen. The point of showing you this chart is that traders in those countries, they're thinking bulls out here. You are new all-time highs, um, and they are loving it. So you've got a global flow of capital that's concentrating here in the U.S. that ought to make any declines somewhat limited. Doesn't mean we can't get normal declines out there, but what we're competing against you've got really two currents out here you've got the u.s current that says hey i want to come into shore and then you've got the international current that says hey we like swimming out to another island out there that's what their intent is at least as of this morning let's go take a look at um the weekly time frame. In fact, to do that, let's go switch panels out here. Let's go over to the white set of charts. We'll have both the daily and the weekly up there. Sometimes that can give us a better overall view of what we're looking at. That's not the chart that you have up on the screen just yet, but you'll have that here momentarily. And that is daily and weekly. So you can see on the weekly charts, that's a bottom panel out there. We don't have any kind of tops really anywhere. Forgetting about the Russell 2000. I'm really focused on the ES, the NQ, and the Dow. If you take a look at that bottom panel, it negated a TD9 count pattern weeks ago. We're above profile, above the green oscillator and change line. It simply is bullish. The same thing is uh, true with regard to the NQ, although it almost looks like a shooting star. Not too much of a wick at the uh, bottom. So it remains bullish. It's above all profile levels, above that green oscillator and change line. Now, on any pullbacks out here, those weekly oscillator and change lines become the real downside price target. That's assuming there's no daily profile levels below where we're trading out there. So that's not what's in play as we speak just yet. But there are levels to watch on a move low. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow also no topping patterns, no topping signals out there. Its level of support, I think we've covered, well, on the weekly basis, we're at about 38.113 out there. So the weekly charts for the ES, the NQ, and the Dow are just simply strong, very bullish signals out there. Each of those are in a breakout bullish mode. Bullish, bullish boat. That's pretty smart. How about a bullish mode uh, signal out there, pattern? All right, so we've got that. What else do we want to take a look at before we go to break? Let's take a look at the other side of the market. Let's look at the bearish side, if you will. The bearish side of the market, or maybe out from the daily time frame, a set of charts out here. We go take a look at that advanced decline oscillator for the New York Stock Exchange. Turns out we're getting very close to the oversold level. We were not too far from this uh, level back here when we saw that nice bottom back on January 17th. And you get to oversold when that indicator gets below minus 150 or minus 137 as we speak right now. So further flush in the markets to the downside ought to get that into oversold conditions out there. That's kind of interesting. Uh, just what we're looking at is really a one day pullback as we speak right now. But nonetheless, that's something to be paying attention to. But as we speak right now, it is sellers that have control of the market with that indicator. And the same is said about the uh, VIX index here. The VIX right now trade above its 50 day exponential moving average. That's a lower left hand chart that you're looking at. The spit, spot VIX moving average 50 days at 1366. We're printing right now at 1425. That says that sellers also have the upper hand here. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. 
for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities. Subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, folks, hope everybody had a great weekend out there. Crazy weather going on across the country. Um, you got the uh, uh, take a look at that weather in California. I know they're trying to finish the uh, the Pebble Beach Pro Am tournament today. I think it was 55 degrees and raining as we speak right now. That's pretty uh, and windy. That's pretty uncomfortable uh, uh, temperatures to uh, play golf. And we had some crazy weather here. Friday, Saturday was one of the was the nicest day of 2024 that we've had out there. I was able to get out and play my first round of golf in 2024. I've been dealing with a real bad back problem. I, I fell when I was in Japan and it's really, really torqued it. And it's been a struggle to get it back to uh, normal out there. And then yesterday, kind of like things fell apart for about three hours and then it turned out to be beautiful again. So crazy weather out there. But let's go take a look at our first request, folks. That's from Duncan Steve inside the Tiger's Den. Let's take a look at Marvell. MRVL is the ticker symbol out there. If we take a look at it, there is an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. Now, the one-to-one -one price projection for you on Marvell, not too far away from where we're trading, 6501, we're at 66.18 out there. You can see that bar number eight is also forming today, Steve-O. So what is needed here, there's a couple things that are needed. First of all, bar number eight is really going to complete. Bar number nine, in order for it to complete tomorrow, needs to be a close below the close of bar number five. That would be at 67.70. But what it also needs tomorrow or the next day is a spike below the low from February the 1st. And that February 1st low is 65.51. If you were to get that, then you could see a TD9 count bottom pattern form between today. Got to get those things take place first, though. Uh, that's part of the formula. Uh, then you could see a, a bottom unfold between today and and um, and Wednesday out there. So you want to look for that. Now, that one-to-one -one price projection is 6501. If price gets down there, there's no reason to think that it won't. By the way, this A to B equals CD pattern. That B point, Steve, was not passed with volume. The B point out here, I think, was 16, uh, 14 million shares. When that was passed, it was passed with 10 million shares. The next day was 11 million shares. The next day was 11 million shares. Today, so far, it's 2 million shares. So has been passed with volume. That's a, that's a net positive, but you still need some type of pattern to form out here if you're looking for some type of buy entry signal out there 
Uh, sort of, short, so short of that, I would just be patient out here. Uh, if you get to, to that A to B equals CD pattern without a TD9 count, then you're looking for a bullish reversal candle to confirm that bottom. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, Roadsman to indicator top. Price right now might be seek or should seek out support. There's two levels of support on the weekly time frame, Steve O. Those are at 63.21. That's the top of its new weekly profile out there. The fact that that profile formed below price is a bullish message. And above that, you got the asset and change line currently printed at 64.22. The monthly time frame chart last month ran right up into resistance at its TD9 count breakdown there at 73 bucks. But you're trading above its green asset and change line and the top of its profile. It's really signaling to you and I it really wants to try to bust out above that $73 area. But first things first, you got price below profile levels on the daily, an A to B equals CD pattern on the downside, a confirmed top on the weekly chart. So you're looking for price to get back to support or form a daily bottom pattern out there. Steve-O, that is what I see when I take a look at Marvell. Hope that helps you out. You also had a twofer. Wanted to take a look at the SMHs out there. The SMHs, you're trading above Friday's high. That's a bullish signal. And on a daily basis, price is trading with inside its daily profile. It's a bullish structured profile. Price should go target that 195.90 area. That's the top of the daily profile. I do not show a, well, I take it back. I see a sell the D point pattern that had formed out here. That formed back on the trading day of January the 26th out there. That pattern has now been negated. Uh, because that gap has been closed, or it appears that it's going to be closed as we speak today. On a weekly time frame, SMHs are bullish. They're above profile levels. They don't have a topping, a confirmed top or anything. Uh, they're above the green oscillator and change line. Uh, things look very good here. And on the monthly chart for the SMHs, uh, they look very bullish as well. They negated a TD9 count top a couple of months ago. So everything looks good there. You've got a confirmed sell the D point on the daily time frame. Uh, however, that's being negated today. So no more topping pattern here on the daily chart. And what we do have is a consolidation with inside his profile. So, Duncan, I hope that helped you out with the SMHs as well. Let's go to our first caller. It is Ron in Denver, Colorado. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, great Steve. Thank you for taking the time. My pleasure. Um, I, I bought a, about 5,000 shares of GRRR, Gorilla Technologies, okay. a couple weeks ago at around 51 cents. This morning they, they brought out some very super numbers. Their revenues exploded. Earnings, earnings before taxes jumped up. I just wondered, at what point do I start bleeding off some shares? Good question. So, I, I, uh, in this, at the moment right now, Ron is, uh, is 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 singing and dancing the happy dance out there. It's had uh, quite a quite a move today with some big volume uh, behind it. So it's gone from the start of the day, or it got down to low sixty one pennies, open at sixty two. Right now, trading at uh, ninety eight cents. That's a big percentage move, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Of course, in July or no, wait, April or so, it went up to six bucks and came straight back down. Yes. Uh, so I don't know what this what this is. Maybe if this was a reverse merger or something, because they actually show a high of fifty one. No, no, I think it was just numbers. They came out with super numbers. They did some successful um, data collection using AI with the police department in London. They've had some real good success in London and Egypt, and uh, it's their numbers came out really nice. And they've got a you know like seventy six percent profit margin. Well, that's a that's a beautiful well, I don't thing. Know. We'll see. Gotta like, but I just gotta like what what target what would be the first place that if you wanted to bleed off some. Yeah, so that's a that's a really great question. Um, what I'm gonna have to say, so it's got a nice bottom out here. That nice bottom was a nice uh, TD9 count, Roadsman indicator. I even see a wave number seven bottom. So it got all of them. And today, right now, this thing has crushed through a couple of different TD9 count breakdown levels. So you'd love to see this stay above 85 cents today. Assuming that it does, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. The next area of real congestion that you get to uh, is the uh, is the day of September 20th. And on September 20th, this gap down was 6.5 million shares. Now, you're up with 45 million shares today. But that's really the first area of resistance out here. Um, when you what got into the, this... What was the price of that date? Well, so the range would be from here. The high it ended up being the high of that day was a buck 23 and the low of the prior day was a buck uh buck 41 so that's really a kind of a, a potential turbulent zone in other words 
Ron, okay. the, you can, you you know, we've well, maybe you haven't been there. I've been there, uh, you know, where you buy on, let's say in this case here, you had people buying on September 19th, the very next day, it gaps down with some pretty decent volume out there. And those people were trapped. And as that thing got down to, you know, 40 cents or what have you, those folks were saying, shoot, if it ever gets back here, I just want my cash back. And that's why that yeah. becomes a potential yeah, zone. That tune many times. Yeah, so not necessarily <laughs> where you would want to exit. Because this thing's got a nice bottom on a weekly basis. If this can close the week above 81 cents, the weekly signal is telling you that you've got a real nice change in trend. So, you know, I, um, I, so I guess my question, if I did, if I asked it already and I forgot the answer, I apologize. But when you got into this trade, what was the intent? Uh, I was waiting for some very good news because I thought the, what the company is doing, I, I really think they've got a chance to, to make a mark. It's so, international and what they're doing. I, I just uh, I thought I've got, it had a chance excellent. to come back around two bucks. Okay. If you have any hesitation at all, I'm going to give you the best trading advice that Tom O'Brien could give you. Go ahead and cash out and get your principal back and let the rest of it ride. Ride, Sally, ride. Ron, congratulations <laughs> on this trade out there. And I'll look forward okay. to speaking to you again. You've been all right. All of you. See you the next The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So, um, you know, Ron was asking a great question, and and uh, uh, you know, I don't have those charts being shown that Gorilla G R R out there, and uh, you know, it reminds me of that book, Reminiscence of a Stock Trader. In this case here, Ron may have an entry price that he'll never see again. So, in and he was potentially thinking long. He was looking for some good news. Boy, did he get that good news today out there? But you know, never a bad idea at some point in time to uh, get your principal back. Uh, off of that uh, trade and just let something ride, especially when you've got some confidence inside the company and the technicals are supporting that idea as well with regard to what shareholders are think. So I do hope that uh, uh, that, that helped you out, uh, Ron. Let's go to our next question out here. This is coming in from Dan inside the Tiger's Den. Wants to take like a ticker symbol VFC, that is VF Corp out there. So on a daily time frame, you know, I'm going to switch charts. I can show you. So here, if we take a look at the daily time frame, I'm going to switch screens, what I should say. I see an A to B equals CD to the downside. Looks like maybe a 1 to 2, 1 to 1.618. 1 it was this bullish hammer candle back here on the trading day of January 18th that confirmed that pattern. Price uh, then rallies from there. It's above trade above all kinds of resistance, profile resistance, I should say, uh, had been above its oscillator and change line, but right now it's below it. And you, when you start closing below red oscillator and change line, that tells you market conditions are a falling price oscillator below zero. It opens up the door for potentially getting to 1564. So here's how I would say on the daily time frame chart. As long as price remains below that red oscillator and change line, 1564 is a potential door for price to go target. I say potential because what I want to do, and you can put this on your chart too, uh, Dan, and you probably already have it on your chart. Well, it's going to change the screens out here, and that's going to be the rising and falling trend line. So just clear rising and falling trend lines that price is trading within. Uh, so um, not only is that 1564 level, it could be just a tad lower than that with regard to that rising trend line. So that's what I see with regard to the daily time frame. If we look at the weekly time frame, looks like you just have a good old-fashioned consolidation. Uh, no, I take that back. It's trading below the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. That bullish structured weekly profile supported at 1721. So that says 1551 may be the target. So now we've got rising price channel. You got 1564 as a profile level and 1551 on the weekly as that oscillator and change line. And on a monthly time frame, uh, price made a move to where it would where it would find where it would uh, where a counter trend rally would end Dan and uh, let me just expand out the chart and explain that so if we take a look at VFC VFC was trading below the bottom of its bullish structured monthly profile for two consecutive months those were October and November of 2023 then in December of 2023 we get a nice little rally here where's that rally run into resistance the center of that bullish structured profile the center level is where you typically find if it's only a counter trend move where you find those moves will end in fact that's what's taken place here thus far and we've seen price pull back and you are below the bottom of that profile as well the monthly profile so I would say at this stage of the game it looks more likely than not VFC wants to trade lower um, before it finds uh, that next potential level of sport. The rising trend. Let's see in the chart. Oh, shoot. Ooh, I thought uh, that I had the oh, I had the black one. So you see those rising trend lines. OK, sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me move back over here to the to the white. Let me expand this out. It's easier to see. Let's expand this out. Thank you. Appreciate that, uh, Dan. Oops. Uh, a second here pull this back you can really see it right now you can see that bullish structured profile that bullish structured buy zone was in 1852 to 2027 level and right here in the month of december price gets right up there and it starts pulling back out here so uh i would and we're trading below profile level so the monthly the weekly and the daily at this moment in time 11 34 uh in the morning on uh, february the uh, 5th out there is suggesting lower price so that's what i see when we take a look at those vfc charts hope that helps you out phil wants to take a look at both goldilocks and silver so to do that actually and hopefully i remember to do this i'm going to switch screens again though uh and uh, so just so you can see the rising and falling trend lines both gold and silver have them they're not going to be on this chart but they will be on my market update charts we'll just simply expand those art here you can take a look at the uh, daily time frame for gold you can you could draw these trend lines in yourself i'd suggest you draw these trend lines in will gold hold here i do not know but i just want to first make sure that everybody understands gold is trading into potential support while the u.s dollar is targeting potent potential resistance up at 104.66 in the case of silver 
Silver is trading into profile support, and that's down at the uh, 2237 level. And if silver closes below that or moves below that, what we have here is rising potential rising trend line support. So the first thing is this uh, system, the my e signal system. I've got an automated tool that picks up those trend lines, makes things easy peasy for Stevie. I don't have a similar tool like that for my uh, Ninja Trader charts out there. And they would give us different pieces of information. So on the uh, daily time frame now, as we take a look at those white background charts, you already saw the black background. We were trading below profile support, but again, running into trend line area. If, in fact, the trend line fails to hold the support, the question should be, where is price headed to? I would say it's headed to 2001. 30. That's the daily time frame. Weekly chart would say it's headed to 2003.10. Uh, and as that's a, that remains in effect as long as price remains about 20.58 out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at the daily and the weekly charts. On a short-term basis, 30-minute time frame chart has a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Price was stretched to the downside, generates a bullish reversal candle. Price right now is trading above the top of its profile. This is a 30-minute time frame that we're looking at. It's only 11.36, but a 12 noon close above 20.37.70 would suggest at least getting back to its recent highs up in the 20.44.70. 50 level out there. Did I change screens? I did. Oh, good. Stevie did that. Phew. At least I got that one out of uh, my system. So uh, we know that we saw gold fill at trend line support. Got a daily 30-minute uh, chart that's also found a bottom at the same time that that was unfolding here. So continue to watch that 30-minute time frame chart for additional signal information out there. I hope that that helps you with regard to Goldilocks. Now let's go take a look at high ho silver. If we take a look at high ho silver out there, we can see we already talked about uh, 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 profile support where it's at right now, trend line support, which is down just a bit lower. The weekly chart says, hey, I'd like to go tag 2163. Monthly chart, we don't have enough data for the March contract in order to generate any kind of profile information. So that's not really assisting us at this stage of the game. Let's go take a look at an intraday chart for silver as well. And here we take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart, Phil. What we don't have is that confirmed bottom. We have that with regard to the bullish reversal candle inside of gold we don't have the similar we don't have a similar candle formation inside of silver price right now is trading below that red oscillator and change line and the 30 minute time frame uh that oscillator and change line is currently printing at uh, 2238 so close at uh, 12 noon below that's going to suggest you go test the morning lows and of course we know that below the morning lows is that rising trend line support that's what i see when i take a look at gold and uh, silver out there of course, we probably have to take a look at the U.S. dollar index to kind of get a feel for what's going on there. And, of course, you know that what we like to do during this hour is take a look at the euro, the yen, and the pound. So hopefully we'll get a chance to do that. But I've got a couple of other requests in right now, and I want to go ahead and get to those. And this one coming in from 777Jack. He wants to take a look at GCT out here. Let me make sure I'm on the right screen. We are. And we're about to go to break. So let's do this, Jack. We'll take a look at GCT when we get back from this uh, we'll get back from this commercial break. Be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back. Now, folks, only two requests in the queue right now. We'd love some more. So if you're inside the Tigers Inn, please feel free to uh, add a few or give me a call at 877-927-6648. You may even be able to get an email in if you can squeeze one in, steve at tfn.com. But right now, we're taking a look at the charts here for Giga Cloud Technology. This is for 777 Jack out there. Either loves James Bond or uh, playing that uh, one-armed bandit out there. Perhaps it's both. But if we take a look at GigaCloud, what do we know? It's got a daily TD9 count top. It uh, confirmed that pattern and a Rhodesman indicator top. That confirmed that back in the early part of January on the uh, 10th. Now, that high, it's also got a wave number seven top. That high is going to be your real key level. Of course, Jack, you didn't need me to tell you that. That high out there, but I am telling you that, that high is at 26.45. Volume there was about 7.9 million shares on the daily time frame. Today, you're up with 1.5, a couple hours of trading, so you're moving up with lighter volume. Nonetheless, that's your top. You close above that high. Again, that high is 26.45. Giga Cloud will start heading further to the clouds. But right now, you've got a daily top. You do not have a daily top on the weekly time frame. The weekly time frame negated its TD9 count top. It did that a couple of months ago, back in, or a couple of weeks ago, back on uh, January the 26th, two weeks ago to be exact. We look at the monthly time frame chart. TD9 count top completes this month. We're going to go ahead and switch screens out there. So as that is taking place out here, and this is kind of interesting, uh, those of you that are fans of uh, Larry, which basically should include everybody, uh, Larry would be looking at this chart and saying, what? Look at that bounce off of now. I don't know, I have any idea that this trade up to 62 bucks at some point in time during the month of uh, August out there. Was this a reverse merger? And, you know, I'm assuming right now that that was real trading out there. Of course, that's a stinker. Somebody bought this at 62 bucks bucks and this thing got down to four dollars and 14 cents but if we go from the high to the low what you'll see on that monthly time frame at the same time that uh, we are getting a uh, td9 count on the monthly you're up at that point 382 retracement level usually it's a floor it's an, a floor on the elevator where people would get off of that uh, train now of course they've done that on the daily time frame chart we'll switch back to those daily charts out there um uh, so you, you have seen a, a bit of a uh, um, of that move lower but let's come back to the white background screens out here and see if there's anything else that i can assist you with and i'd love to say yes so you got the your trade look it's 
I would say that the high, that TD nine count high, is very likely to get tagged, even with lighter volume. And the reason is because what we're taking a look at is prices above its green oscillator and change line and the top of its daily profile. Those are bullish conditions. So you got bullish on the daily, bullish on the weekly. They're still bullish on the monthly chart, except you're getting up to you've got a couple different types of topping uh, patterns out there. So I hope that that helps you out, Jack. And uh, thanks so much for the request. I'm not sure if this was a request or not. It might have just been a question inside the den, but Steve is going to take it. And that's a take look at ticker symbol CBM. And the question was, is this going to 308 and then 322? So I wanted to be able to share uh, with that individual. I don't recall who it is. I just wrote it down that you've got your resistance level at the top of its daily profile, which was tested and rejected this morning. And that's up at 296. Now, you've got new support, which is the bottom of the profile at $2.62. So watch those two areas. A close above 296 is going to suggest you get back to the um, you get back to test its highs now there is an a to b equals cd pattern the b point out here is from the trading day of uh, november 15th there were 644,000 shares that were passed uh, were traded that day it was passed on december 26th December 26, it passes it with a B point, uh, passes it with volume. That's this candle right here, out here. And so you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. That confirmed price projection is four bucks even, Steven. That's the one to one. That's the initial price projection level out there. However, when we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we can see that Sell Side Corp is struggling to clear its TD9 count breakdown level. And that's at 299. And even if it does that, what we've got is resistance on a weekly TD9 count. So in order for this to truly Really get its momentum to the upside you need to see a weekly close above the level of three dollars and 23 cents but we can say here daily we're up at resistance 296 weekly we're up at resistance 299 those are areas you're looking for it to clear and if it does clear those areas then we're back up towards those those highs if it can close above that weekly TD9 count, then that A to B equals CD to $4 is likely in the cards out there. So whoever requested that, I hope that that assisted you with regard to at least knowing where those profile levels and other resistance points are at. Uh, if I didn't see earlier, can we take a look at Alcoa? Absolutely, I did not see it. So thank you very much for the, um, for the follow up on that. And uh, can you check out Alcoa? Alcoa is down today. It is down today. What it's doing is testing a key level of support. And that's the bottom of that bullish structure daily profile. So as we open up that chart, we can see that the buy zone for Alcoa, Alcoa is between 26.93 and 27.51 out there. What price needs to do, now it's trading into a swing point, the potential B point of an A to B equals CD to the downside. That's from the trading day of January 19th. Six million shares traded hands that day. So far, we are down with 3.7. This has got the volume as a pulse in that area. However, the buyers are lined up. Those buyers, they are lined up between the price point of 26.35 and... 2693. You close below that 2635 uh, level, that's going to generate an A to B equals CD to the downside with or without volume out there. And then you've got the next level of support would be down at 2389. The weekly chart for Alcoa, if it closes below this red oscillator and change line, likely pulling back into its buy zone. The buy zone between 2492 and 2605. If we take a look at um, the monthly time frame chart, you've got a nice TD9 count bottom. Price also pulling back to its buy zone, and that's between 2458 and 26. Hold on, sorry about that. It's between 2458 and 2761. So that's what I see when I take a look at Alcoa. It's trading back into support. If it breaks those support levels, we could be looking at a further move lower. Let's go out to uh, Philly and speak with uh, John. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm doing very well. Um, thanks for taking the call and uh, appreciate your help. I wanted to ask you about soybean futures. Yep. Specifically, Steve, I wanted to ask if you could help me now and in the next days and weeks, please, with the new crop soybean futures, that ticker symbol is Zebra Sammy X-Ray 4, ZSX4. Yeah. Uh, Steve, uh, just to let you know, you and I have spoke long enough uh, to know that this time of year, uh, coming into late winter, as South American harvests are just getting underway and we're in advance 
of U.S. planting season if uh, a, com- if a, uh, a crop uh, futures contract is in a fair market making lower lows, I'm always, in those instances, doing bottom probing buys. And such is the case with this contract. Uh, I'd like to ask if you could tell me uh, the details of your work on this and ask you a personal favor, and that is to track this in the coming days and weeks to see if, if in fact, we do carve out a bear market bottom. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'll be happy to do that. We're going to the break here. I'm happy to go through the charts. I don't know if you're going to hang up or, or stay on. Um, whichever you do, I will go through the uh, November soybeans contract, and we'll, I'll keep an eye on it for you as well uh, over the coming week, and we'll uh, reference it during the show. So, uh, folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to take a look at uh, uh, soybeans for John in Philly. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, uh, folks. We got the uh, November bean contracts up on my uh, screen out here. We see when we take a look at the weekly time frame that you had a TD9 count bottom pattern uh, complete last week. So uh, good reasoning for uh, John to be probing and looking for a uh, bottom out there. Now, if uh, this week price closes below that level, that level, the low of uh, last week, was down at 11.70 and a quarter. That will negate that signal and suggest we have lower price out there. So, but right now we've got a bottom pattern on the weekly time frame. 
So what's beautiful about that is you have a road momentum indicator signal. On Friday, what price did was it negated a road momentum indicator signal and a buy the D point pattern. When price closed below the bottom or the low of the uh, bullish engulfing pattern out there, and that was down at 1173 and a quarter. It still has a road momentum indicator signal present. So if you get another bullish reversal candle, that would then tie into the weekly chart that has a bottom and have a bottom pattern there. Now I'm going to go switch over to the intraday charts because the intraday charts that I've got don't do not have a weekly time frame chart up there. So I wanted to be able to show you this. Now we take a look at the intraday charts. When you're back towards an area where there's a bottom, you look to the intraday charts for other bottom signals. John turns out that on the uh, Five hour time frame chart, you have a TD9 count, a road momentum indicator bottom. Right now, price is taken on resistance. That's that oscillator and change line that's currently printed out here at the 1175 level. You can clear that. Are you likely going to rally towards 1192 out there? The four hour time frame chart is trying to uh, complete uh, a bullish reversal candle. This candle doesn't complete till another four minutes from now, but it looks like you're going to have a bullish piercing candle. Again, that oscillator and change line and profile levels becoming your resistance areas. You're getting a turn. A confirmed road momentum indicator bottom on the two hour time frame chart. You have the pattern on the uh, 60 minute chart, but not a confirmed. Oh, I take that back. You do have a confirmed bottom there as well. We don't on the 30, we do on the 15. And now you've got this little TD9 count top on the uh, 10 minute uh, time frame chart out here. And price is testing a level of support. So this is great. This is live. You get to watch this. If price holds this support level, and that support level is 1171.65. Uh, you might be getting your signal as we speak right now. Nonetheless, and of course you would expect this, you've got battles up top that oscillator and change line profile levels. But if you're asking, the weekly chart's got that nice bottom pattern and you've got everything you were looking for on those intraday charts to at least continue to probe to the bullish side. Folks, stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magical Monday and thanks so much for your help. Take care.